Now, good afternoon and <clears throat> welcome to the Northern Community Centre here in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, where the OHF Championship Games will be played this week. And today we have a great matchup between the Vaughn Kings of the GTHL, who are playing the Tim and Majors of the GNU18HL, which they came off a stunning victory against the Sudbury Cubs in Sudbury in Sudbury so the majors are on a high Vaughn's one of the best teams in this age group so I think we're gonna have a good one what do you think John yeah it's a good one uh, Timmins majors winning in Sudbury uh, could say it's a it was a bit of an upset winning against the Sudbury Wolves on their home turf and here we go uh, they got a tall order taking on Vaughn and as we know one of the best hockey markets in the country in the greater Toronto area there. There we go, yeah, and, and Secor dumps that in. It goes all the way to the back. The uh, Vaughn tries to get the puck out, but they are unable to do so, but it is brought out to center ice, and Vaughn's right on it, trying to get it down, but uh, here comes Etheridge for uh, the majors, along with uh, Lachance. He's chasing the puck in. It gets rimmed all the way around, goes to one of the wingers for Vaughn, Mitchell, the centerman, missed that pass as well. And there's uh, John B. He's got the puck, and he chases after it. LaChance was on it as well. But uh, number 19 for Majors gets it and kind of loses it, but then they get it back to the deep. But there goes Sudbury. They get that puck, and they just had one wild giveaway given to them right at the blue line. The guy stepped over right into the shooting lane, and fortunately, one of the Vaughn players was able to get a stick on it to send it high, I think. It was really close to being offside there. Lucky, lucky break for the Timmins Majors, but couldn't uh, capitalize on it as it will be a face-off in their offensive zone. And Timmins wearing the okay, maroon. Okay, Bertrand takes the draw, goes back to uh, Dubinsky. Uh, and Timmins there keeps the puck in as well. Here we go, goes off the glass. Vaughn picks it up on the far side, but the Timmins player's there to keep it uh, going, and I pardon myself there. I think I got a little backtracked. I was talking about Sudbury before the game, and I, I, I said Timmins, uh, Sudbury instead of Timmins a couple times. That's my apology. We'll get back to the game now. D, D to D it goes, goes all the way up, try to hit the forward on the wall but it wasn't able to do so so it goes for a long icing call there so Vaughn will come down into the Timmins end and there should be a puck drop to the right of the goalie go ahead John now that we have a quick break in the action we'd like to thank our sponsor for today Sioux Concussion Clinic Sioux Concussion Clinic is the Sioux's longest running and most trusted concussion specialty facility we offer diagnosis and rehabilitation of acute and chronic concussions no matter the mechanism of the injury Treatment and management is individually tailored on a case-by-case -case basis. In addition to post-injury care, we also offer preventative education and pre-season slash in-season baseline testing. Call Dr. Albert and Merlino at Sioux Concussion Clinic located at 644 Queen East, 595-4665. All right, and we're back to the action with the Vaughn Kings have that puck and they're taking control of it in their own end here and they're just trying to get it out to center ice they do so there's uh, number 26 on the puck uh, being chased by one of the Tim and Majors players Majors player puts it up on the high glass and uh, number 66 for the Majors puts it back to the defenseman the defenseman rifles it up to the winger who's number 44 and then the rest of the Majors are f fighting back for it here in Vaughn's end but Vaughn got it out of their end quick Capel has it. He has someone going with him. Number 18. He slips Ooh. it in. Oh! Almost went in. Number 29, I think it was. Mitchell was just close about putting that puck in the top corner there. And here we go. Vaughn once again had a chance, but Timmons grabs that puck, and they're able to get it out of the net, and they're able to dump it deep into the end, and they chase after it. And going back to that earlier save, that's one of the best goaltenders in the GMU 18 HL was Jared Seifa Fenton coming up big on the pad save. For sure. Then 16 lays his leg down to block that pass from going, which was a great 
defensive mood, uh, move, I mean, and uh, 17 now grabs it. 17 has 14, but 14 misses the puck. Here's 18, and it goes in the net! Right between the legs of the Timmins Majors goalie, and uh, that was a hard one to watch because it just trickled in, yeah. like in slow motion. Um, but, you know, I don't know. That big number 18, it looks like he's got a lot more to show than what he is. So got hats off to uh, Tubrid. Uh, they do. I did talk to a lot of the players this morning and the dads, and they said his nickname is Tubby. So don't be shy to call him that, they said. There but I'm going to stick with Tubrit. And just an unfortunate goal for the Timmins goaltender. Thought he for had sure. it. You know, good handle on the puck. It just slips through the five hole. And I was just saying earlier, one of the premier goalies in our division, the GMU 18 HL, you don't like to start your first game of the tournament off of that one. And no. For sure. So here we go. We got Timmins pushing back now, which is nice to see. After a goal gets uh, squared on them, they're not afraid to get it back into the offensive zone and look to get that uh, goal back. Uh, their players are pushing hard on it. They've got one guy on the wing. He dumped it a little too far down the ice, uh, but the Vaughn Kings are after it. Uh, with Timmins Majors trying to keep up to it, but here comes 15 Kuhn. Uh, he's going to head down the ice. He sends it to number 34, Donovan, and it hits the mesh high and goes out of play. So we're going to get a, a face off to the left of the uh, Vaughn Kings goalie, who is number 34, Amelin. Armelin. Here we go, and Vaughn wins the draw. It goes all the way, rings it around the boards, hits the centerman who is in neutral zone, and now it's pushed back to the D, it goes D to D to Holt. Holt dumps it all the way in over the red line he was, so there's no icing there. And Vaughn is now working the boards down low, cycling that puck. Here we go, number 88, puts it back to the D, and uh, he tries to find a shooting lane, cannot. It's blocked by one of the forwards from Timmins. He takes the shot, easy, gets a rebound. The other guy, he just couldn't connect or else that would have been in an empty net for sure. Here comes number 13, that's, num that's uh, Kim for Vaughn. He gets taken down a little bit, but good try on him. And there comes uh, some of the majors players. They're getting the puck, but Kim gets it back, Kim. Sends it over to the defenseman. That's number 23 for Braun. Braun sends it in, goes to Kim. Kim has it now. Kim's trying to find someone to send the puck to. He's got it on the hash marks. Sends it to the defenseman, number nine. Um, and then uh, looks like Timmins Majors, they're able to finally Whoa. get it out. But the looks like the... Uh, Referees are going to let them play because no call was made there. And to be honest, I don't think there was a call there. Yeah, it looked a little uh, shocking there on first glance. But now that you say that, I think they just did get tied up and yeah. were unable to let go. And yeah. that happens. And a couple opportunities for the Timmins Majors so far, Rod. They're just unable well, to yeah. really hit the net, it seems. They don't look uncomfortable, that's for sure. So here we go, Timmins coming out. Here we go. They're trying to cycle it back to their own defenseman. There's no one in front watching those two big boys that are sitting there. So we might, might want to correct that. But here we go. I think that's Athbridge. Number 26 for Timmins yep. is uh, Athbridge. Yeah. And uh, Athbridge was trying to get it to set something up there. But Kovacek, he comes back the other way, hits the toe of the goalie and pushes it over to the corner. Now it comes into the center uh, circle there. And the Timmins player was almost had it. And another one does now. That's Poulin again. He goes, chips it, and it sends it out across the blue line of the Vaughn Kings. Bit of a lack of puck control from the Timmins majors so far here. A little bit, yeah. Especially in their own end, which yeah. they want to clean up quick. For sure. So Poulin sends it out. Westbury has it right now. Westbury sends it to his D partner. His D partner goes off glass high. And uh, Vaughn Kings were able to get that puck and send it into the Major's end. Now the ma uh, Kings are chasing it, but Lake sends it out, sends it to the centerman, Martino. Martino tries to get back past his D, but he can't. And Callahan has it. He pushes it over to his defense partner, who sends it back to him. And now number 17 has it there. That's Ferry. Ferry was trying to send it, but... He couldn't get it to anyone, so they're hard at it, trying to get that puck to go somewhere. And uh, 
someone from Timmins just takes that wild shot on the net just in case, which I always say you might as well. Yeah. So here we go, Timmins once again. It doesn't seem like anyone can get any type of system going. So uh, we've got uh, Timmins in their end deep now. They're going to get that puck, try and get a breakout going. Uh, here we go. And, oh, it looks like once again they don't have control of the puck. But there goes their settlement again. Going back to the D, goes across, hits the board, but nope, not again. So Capel has it for Vikings. He goes in, he's on the hash marks, looking for someone to pass to. Goes back to the defenseman. The defenseman just dumps it right down. And the other D was thinking of pinching in, but then he pulled back. And now the forward and the winger are in there. Here comes the winger. That looks like Kim, Ooh. 13. No, that is number 17, Ferry. And the puck comes back to nine. He shoots, no deflection there. So here we go. Number nine for, that's Latner. Is, uh, he's with a go up against Stasevich and nothing happened there. So Timmins Majors turns and they send the puck right back in deep and hopefully Stasevich, he's by himself. He wow. just got manhandled yeah, just by- just thrown to the thrown ice. Thrown to the ice, no call there. So that's one thing that you're gonna notice with us here at Sioux Sports, we allow the the officials to do their job and we do our job absolutely yeah so um if there's any calls that don't look right or anything we keep our nose out of it and we just let the officials do the best they can and this is a good pace of play right now it's Various. been mostly clean that wasn't uh and you know it wasn't malicious no. or uh, malintent whatever whatsoever exactly no need to call that this part of the game nope. and just talking about the uh pace of play both teams Playing a little bit up tempo, able to uh, exactly able to stay in it here. A couple of rough passes from both sides. Uh, yeah. Of course, Timmins having that opportunity earlier and yeah. unable to capitalize on it. But right now, it's a pretty even game as Vaughn has the puck in the offensive zone. Yep, yeah. Marie dumps that puck in, cycles it down, comes right across, goes out to the defenseman. If that Timmins player could get that to that puck, they could have had a. Nice two-on-one, but he wasn't able to. So there's number 88, Scorsese. He's got the puck. Oh, big he, hit. He uh, got hit by that Timmins player down there. That was uh, number 20, uh, 67, I think it was, uh, Eseroff. And here comes Vaughn now. Vaughn, he, re he goes back the other way to number 29, Mitchell. Mitchell tries to take the puck back that way. And then he sends it up the wall again. And there's there's uh, Timmins Majors. Puck sent. 63 has it now. Six at Sear. Oh, comes out. Nothing there. No rebound. And here comes Timmins Majors. There we go. We've got Etheridge and Poon. Poon takes the shot. Oh, Etheridge just missed that rebound or else it could have gone in. Here's Kim. Kim for the for Vaughn Kings. Headed back the other way. He's got three. One in the high slot. Shot taken. And there's your Timmins Majors goalie, Chippa, Chippa, saving that with no problem whatsoever. And both goaltenders making a pair of nice saves. The first, the first Thompson Hardwood floor goal of the tournament will be coming at 16:36 of the first period. Going back to that Matthew Turbeck goal, just sliding in through the five hole of Saifa Fenton. And it will remain a 1-0 hockey game. Yeah, here comes Kim. Kim, he's a smaller smaller player, but man, he's very, very recognizable on yep. that ice. Hard-nosed player yeah, and very good. good puck handler too. Yeah, Look at that. Yeah, for sure. So here comes the puck back up to uh, number nine. That's Latner. He tries to put it into the center towards the net, but no one was really there for it. 26 Atheridge for the uh, Timmins Majors point. And they'll get a change now, and here we go. Latner again pushes it to Kim. Kim pushes it up to num Lee. Lee pushes it back to number nine, but he was unable to get a stick on it. And here we go. Timmins Majors come back the other way. They got three big boys. Cardinal, he's got the puck, and he loses it. Here comes the defense. They're going to try and make something happen here. We've got Drombi. And he, the goalie just tries to zim in around and he does a perfect job because now he's got his uh, winger on the way down the boards there and 
His team's catching up now and see if they can oh. make something. Out of it. That looked like it could have been a call there. For yeah, sure, it looked like a little bit it's of almost uh, nothing there. And here we go. There's a puck again, knocked out front, but no one was able to get to it. Martino tries to make something of it, but nothing. Cardinal just dumps that puck in, and Lake will chase after it as the Vaughn Kings look to uh, take care of it and make an easy transition out of their own end. They make it. They go past the blue line. There we go. Carrying it. That's Smith. Smith with another one. That's Harry Smith. And it goes to 22. Well, he kind of fanned on that. And 28's keeping that puck from coming out of the blue line. That's for sure. That's big number 88. Uh, Scorsese there. And now we got uh, 28. Berlang. Uh, Brittle, or pardon me, Br Bridget Langeal. And it goes all the way. And here we go. Vaughn once again had the puck, but they've lost it to the Timmins Majors again. It comes around the boards, comes off the wall. They try to make a breakout, but they weren't able to get it off that wall, so it was stuck still in the feet of uh, the Timmins Majors player. Here comes the defenseman for <clears throat> Timmins, but instead of taking his time and looking to see who was there to pass, he just opted to blindly pass and take a seat on the bench. So here we go, cross ice pass to a Timmins player. He sends it back to Stasevic. Stasevic has it and he loses it to uh, the Kings player and it comes back to your Timmins Majors. The Majors come in, defenseman tries to send it in deep, unable to do so. Secord has it, Ooh. takes a shot. Doesn't miss by much, eh, John? No, it was a nice shot there. Yeah. Good opportunity for Secord. Yeah, Got to sure. hope to hit the net next time. Yeah, exactly. So Travis Poon had the puck there for a while. Yeah, not and, the right pass uh, there. Didn't make the right pass. Mitchell has it. He sends it over to number 16, who is Callahan. Callahan sends it up to a partner, and he just gets a little chip on the goalie, but better nothing than, uh, you know. Yeah, 6.37 left to go in this first period. 1-0. to zero. Shots are, I assume, about even. Unfortunately, no one tracking the shots for us this evening. Or this, this afternoon, rather. But uh, game one of this week-long AAA U18 Central Division Central Ontario Tournament, rather. Lots of great teams here. Got Waterloo, the Sioux, of course. Uh, Ottawa 67s, the two teams on the ice right now. Vaughn. And there's an opportunity for the Timmins Majors. But he won't be able to capitalize on it as we'll pass it back to Rod as the play has started. Yeah. So, yeah, that was great opportunity. Poon's there for the <coughs> Timmins Majors, and that was just unbelievable yeah. that they missed that. Yeah, and that's there just... it goes. And here we go. They're still pushing, though, the Timmins Majors, but they just couldn't get, get it going there. So it heads back the other way. Here we go. That's number 18, Turbot. Turbot's in there. He's got the puck. And uh, he's holding on to it, holding on to it until maybe someone helps him or uh, until the whistle blows. I'm not sure. But yeah, he is we'll holding on to it. <laughs> and he, he doesn't look like it'd be easy to get rid of it either. So it comes over to Smith, the defenseman. He tries to send it in for a tip, but he was unable to do so. The uh, defenseman for your... Oh, wow. Look at that look effort at a, there. What an effort by number 17. That's your... That's uh, Ferry. He's out there playing like he's a six foot seven guy. And yeah, like, that was... <laughs> that was amazing. That directly took uh, the, my attention off of everything else. Yeah. I just watched him. So That's, who got a call? I missed it. Well, then. we did miss. There is no penalty. I don't think. I or think just a high stick. Oh puck. yeah, yeah, high stick. Puck I came out. Okay. I assume it would so be we're on. gonna have a, a face off outside of Timmins. Here comes twenty eight. He just dumps it in. That's Brigland. Brigliano. Brigliano. Yeah, Brigliano. He just dumped that puck in, and the goalie decided to save it. He saves it, gets a, a stoppage of play to the right of him, and we'll see if Vaughn uh, tries to get another one before the end of period or what happens here. Here comes the Timmins Majors. That's number 17, Katakaput. Katakaput. And uh, he will just dump it all the way in. It comes off. There we go. Tim, or pardon me. Um, Vaughn has it there in the corner. And 
They're just desperately trying to keep it from the front of their net. Smith has it now. He sends it to the middle of the ice where a Timmins major player is able to bang it down and send it back in deep into Vaughn's end. And there we go. Now Vaughn has it out. It goes up to one of their forwards. There's four of them now there. And there's four minutes and 30 seconds left in the game with one nothing Vaughn. In the period, Roddy. In the, in the period, sorry. I was getting a hold of myself. It's only the first game. <laughs> <laughs> Long week to go yeah, there. Yeah, for sure. Here's Caddick. And yes, brother of the Caddick that's in the OHL. And here we go. Vaughn's got it going D to D in their own end here. I don't know if they're trying to just kill the clock for this period or if they're actually trying to go up one more. But myself, I always would rather go up one more in a game than be down, than just be up one. Yeah, not, um, a, not an insane amount of urgency here. No, it just doesn't seem like it, eh? So here we go. Oh, I thought for sure. Here we go. Now here comes uh, Vaughn's going the other way. Oh, big shot by number 88 there, Scorsese. And uh, it, nothing there much. 16's pinching in. He does, but then here comes... Uh, here comes... Oh, oh, big hit by Timmins Majors player. And that was on number 88, who's Scorsese. So, you know, they uh, it looked like the, uh, the Timmins player took more of the brunt than the other guy. Yeah, it guy. was a nice little reverse hit there. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, eh? So here we go. Kim has the puck. Kim sends it all the way across in the neutral zone. And uh, there it's down now. And Kim's still buzzing. He's like a bee... Yeah, he's beehive, everywhere. that kid. <laughs> he's got quite the motor on him. Oh, yeah, he can go. And there we go. Lat Latner's making it back. Gives it back up to Kim. Kim sends it back to Latner. And he's smart, too. Hey, eh? You can see yeah. the hockey sense in him. And 244 left in the game. Still one nothing for your Vaughn Kings. And here we go. Timmons is trying to push back a bit, but they just can't seem to get that puck out yet. Uh, the defense are trying to set up a breakout here and here we go comes all the way out but he yeah, puts he it right on the stick of Kim can't get past that trap no there. Yeah, yeah they're right at that trap so you know they gotta start stopping these long passes and start creating shorter passes in order to get rid of that yeah it's not there no, at all at and all. they keep They've, going back to it's it all, it's all that's all they played all period oh there you oh! go that's the best chance of the period for the oh, Vaughn Ma that Timmons was it. majors that was the majors to tie it up in the first period and they just missed yeah. an open net it would have made for a great next couple periods but we're still in for it i think oh. what happened whoa it looks like so I think the puck might have went up, hit someone on the bench, yeah. and went down. So no, it hit it hit number twenty four Lee, and it fell down. I think. And so it went. we should have a stoppage of play in their end. It should be in their end. Okay, yeah. good. I thought it'd be at the blue line, so but I guess not. Minute forty six left, with a stoppage of play in the Von Kings end, and here we go. Shot on net, and it goes wide. Westbury keeps it in. Or he's trying to. Uh, he was able to. Now we've got the goalie comes out. He tries to get it out. And oh, and there it's it picked is. off. Shot. Save. Oh, open still. Still open. Oh, oh that my has God. To be a trip. That has to. Number 12. Let me just say really quickly number 12, Harry Smith saved a goal there oh, by 100%. tripping the player. That I'll take the two minutes any day of the week. Wow. That is a smart hockey play to take the penalty there. But is it a. I believe it's a two minute. Yeah. No, I believe it's uh, just a trip. But why? Why wouldn't it be a. a interference? No, a, a, a penalty shot. I wasn't a he breakaway. Was, no, but he was in the process of shooting into an empty net. Ah, and I got tripped. No, because the puck was in between his legs. I don't know. He was still fighting to get the puck there. I, okay. I agree with that call. I don't think it would be. I don't think it should be a penalty I, shot. Yeah. I, I think that's the best call there. when that comes. Like. I don't think you have to be on a breakaway for penalty shot. Are you sure? But I'm not sure. <laughs> that's something I'd like to look into. Anyways, let's get back. We'll, we'll figure it out. Anyways, here we go. So now, well. Um, Producer Jay is saying that uh, it is. you do have to be on a breakaway to get okay. a penalty shot. Okay. There we go. And uh, okay. back to the play here. One that minute left to go and a buck 26 left to go on the Timmins power play here. There we go. 
So let's get back to the game. And I was wrong there. Johnny was right. What, what's going on? A delayed penalty for the Vaughn Kings is going to be five on three for at least 37 seconds here if they get a whistle. Well, take a whistle. There you go. Blow the whistle. <laughs> Anyways, they're still not having it, so they're just going to keep throwing the puck around, yeah, not I would knowing definitely, yeah, I would that definitely they, take they should the take the whistle. Yeah, you sh absolutely should yeah, take the whistle. It's okay. Young kids, something to learn, yeah. right? That's where these are these learning experiences where hopefully in, in, in a in a championship series like this, this is where you should be taught those yeah, things. Yeah, absolutely. That's because now you only have uh, 50 odd seconds, 17 seconds in the period. Sure, you get the 30 seconds of uh, five on three next period, but then you have no momentum. You don't start in the offensive yes. end. Yes. It's all about momentum when you're on a you power play. And So here we go, five on three for the next 17. And we'll see if we can get anything there. And if not, then we're going to come back between periods yep. and see what happens there. But Kings, they look like they... Uh, have a very, very well dialed in penalty kill by the way. And there's a period and yeah, well, there's a little bit of shoving from the goalie. Yeah. And they, oh, they've always had an edge, an edge, these guys. Yeah. Just, and, and that's how I like it, is to play out that, that chip on your shoulder, but don't go over it. And right? just before we uh, take our break for the period, I just want to say the Vaughn Kings are winning right now because they're doing the little things better 100%. than uh, Timmins. They're getting the, they're quicker on the pucks. Yeah. They're a step ahead of Timmins. And if that continues, then I think they're going to be in for a if few it's more goals. Fine, but if, if Timmins continues to play they were and just changes a few little things, yeah. they'll be right into this game. Absolutely. No it's problem. definitely not over. And Absolutely. Uh, I'm happy to be here. And I cannot wait for more hockey. Absolutely. We're going to take a quick break take for break. Rod Trudell. My name is John Strowski. We'll be back in 12, 13 minutes. Take it.
three, two, and live. Good afternoon and welcome back to the Northern Community Senator here in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, watching your OHF championships between the Vaughn Kings and Timmins Majors. And we just finished the first period there, minute eight, uh, and it looks like we're going into the second period and Vaughn is gonna be down two men, two men for yep. 34 seconds. First is 34 second penalty and then the second one is a minute 42. We have 52 seconds left in the clock to call down until we drop this puck. Um, what did you think of the first period, John? I thought it was a good period. It's uh, Vaughn is was clearly the better team in the first uh, opening 20 minutes. However, Timmins had a couple great opportunities just right at the, especially right at the end there. Nico Amelin was turned around, didn't know where the puck was, and Timmins probably should have scored. It should be a 1-1 game to be honest, but uh, they're going to come out here with 34 seconds of a five-on-three penalty. Got to quickly get the puck and work your way down the rink, and. Try to get something quickly with a two-man advantage. Here we here go. Here we go. Face and off. here's the puck drop. And, and there we go. Yeah, not what you wanted there. No. Timmins corrals the puck. And there we go. Timmins player takes the puck. Goes across the red line. Gives it to Lachance. Lachance has it. Puts it down to number 15. And goes over to Lachance again. Down to 15. Over. And oh, Secor just missed the net. And they try to put it back to the defenseman. He tips it all the way down. He's racing. But... He did negate it, and it was not called the pen. Uh, uh, pardon me, wasn't called icing. So here we go. Timmins brings the puck back. They go to send it to the defenseman. Fifteen has it. He pushes it over to the corner to Lachance. Lachance puts it back to Secord. Secord back to Lachance, and there it is, deep in uh, Timmins' end or Vaughn's end. Back out to the D. Tries to go rink wide, but misses it. And there we go. Vaughn gets it all the way down the ice again. And there they go. Secord will pick up speed and head back out. Here it goes. It comes up to the red. That's uh, Esserhoff. He tries to dump it all the way down. It doesn't quite do so. They go D to D on the back end, Vaughn does. And we get a little bit of a high stick there. I'm not sure if it was below. It looks like it was. And it goes back into... Timmins end and Timmins once again breaks out. Here goes Bertrand. Bertrand tries to make it and pinch up against the wall and keep it there, but he can't do so. And here we go. Timmins pushes it across, back down to the defenseman. Defenseman up to uh, Secord. Secord back to the defenseman. Defenseman goes, tries to break high with it, can't do so. And now he's just trying to skate it in. He dumps it deep into the corner and Timmins is hot, hot after it, but there's nothing there. And Vaughn turns and burns. There's Lee, and Lee had Kim with him as well. Nothing there. Goes off of a stick, and you'll have a, a play off to the left. Drop puck off to the, pardon me, right of the Vaughn netminder. And ladies and gentlemen, be sure to stick around for the next game we got. Coming to you live at 3.15 p.m. We got the Markham Waxers taking on the Ottawa Junior 67s here on Sioux Sports TV. So and the shots right now are six to four in favor of the Vaughn Kings. Very good. So here we go. And oh, here it goes uh, Timmins the other way. He's got a little bit of speed on him. That's number 24. That's LaChance. And he seems to always has the puck around him. That's for sure. Yep. And 26 is going to pick it up. That's Kovacek for the uh, for the Vaughn Kings, but it goes back into Vaughn's deep end again, and they're just trying to pin that puck up against the boards and, and kill some of the time off of these, uh, this uh, wall here. And we're back to five on five, yeah. and the Knights Kings are back out, and they get a shot on net, and let's see if they set something up. That's Maholtra with the puck. Um, is it? Yeah, I think so. 26, right? Yeah. Or, no, it wasn't. Maholtra. Sorry, I just wanted to say something because I know that uh, he's on one of the teams. I don't think it's this one. Um, and here we go. Vaughn, look at the speed on him. 16 or yeah. 76. Naples, he can fly that kid. Yeah. And it comes back out to the blue line. 
and uh, they just can't be. They just don't seem to be setting up any of these plays that normally you see come off the wall, come off the wall, cycle, cycle, find someone in the high slot, find someone in a shooting lane, do something. It's just one and done, one and done. Every time we go down, a shot gets put on the net, and then everybody's back the other way. You yeah. know, it's it's. It just seems very un unorthodox of both teams right yeah, now. It looks like Vaughn's a little bit unorganized as yes, well coming I, into this second I'm, period. Yeah. And, yeah, it's not the start they wanted, especially killing off the five on three successfully. They uh, definitely looking to generate a bit more offense here, but we'll see what they can yeah. do. Unable to keep it in their offensive zone, and now here comes Timmons. Exactly. Oh, big shot off the point, but it goes wide. Nice and, block uh, by number 16, Huxton Callahan. Yeah, there. that was a beautiful block. And there goes uh, Drew. He just dumped that puck all the way in for the uh, majors. Mm -hmm. And now they're fighting for it in the corner there. It goes in front of the net. The, the Timmons players are in the back there trying to put it out front. But nothing was to be had of it. And you're going to get a stoppage of play to the left of the uh, Vaughn Kings goalie. Who... <coughs> Uh, rocking some advertisements on his yeah. ads there. That's what I was trying to yeah. figure it out that's earlier, they, if that's exactly what that what was. They, that's exactly what they are. I wonder, very, what they, wonder what they paid for that. Yeah, very European. Uh, as yeah. We have a delayed penalty here, yeah. and a oh, little bit of a hit after the whistle. So you think that's what that is? Yeah, that's 100% advertisements yeah, eh? on his pads. I've never seen that in North America I at this know, level. I didn't know if Hockey Canada allowed that yet. Yeah, I didn't know either. I had no I idea. I know that in the NHL, they're putting stuff like on their helmets and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's and that's ridiculous in my opinion. But well, if you're... You, the helmets aren't too bad, but when you have a big RBC well, logo I get on it. a Montreal I get jersey... When you see the guys from Europe and they've got tags on every yeah. piece of thing they can... Anyways, back to the action. Here goes Holt. Holt has it, takes a shot. Oh. It's wide open, goes back to number 63. Nah, that's Kirk. Kirk sends it back to Holt. Holt puts it in the middle, just misses Mitchell. There's from the back end, and it go. Where'd it go? It went up and over, and it bounced off of the mesh behind the goal, and it did not go in. It did just, that not look like it went in? It though? looked like it okay. went in for about half a second there. Okay. If you're Vaughn, you're just not happy with no. that. you got to put those no. in the back of the net. But All right. So luckily, you have a minute 45 left on your power play. Yeah. So we got a minute 45 left. Holtz out there. Uh, Abu Maria. Uh, all the big guys. <clears throat> yep. There's Gunnar Kirk as well, as well as Mitchell. Yep. Douglas Mitchell, number 29. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Abdu Maria, right? Yeah, Ab uh, Nasser Abdul Marie. Nasser Abdul Marie. He's a very nice player to watch. I believe it's Abu Marie. A B O U. Yeah. Yeah, Abu Marie. Yeah, yeah. So they come out four wide, and then he pegs up. Oh, my That's goodness. That's a great breakout they have there. There's, I believe, Gunnar Kirk with the individual effort. Yeah, yeah. Very good, very good. Now but, he recognized that, Kirk. And Kirk will get it all the way down. They'll get a change. And Kodak's calling for it because he does know that. But that didn't work out either. So it comes all the way down. And the Vaughn goalie comes out. Number nine will pick that up. Latiner, he sends it out to the winger. And the winger busts down. He goes right around the defense almost. But he gets dragged down. A little bit where Ferry comes in to help him out. Ferry tries to push him out, but um, <clears throat> he loses that puck, and the goalie picks it up. The goalie grabs that puck again, comes all the way back to Kim. Kim moves it over. I think that was probably Lee that had it, and it goes back to... Oh, oh he blocked it again. Well, Sc Scorsese has it. Lee has it. Lee shoots. Just misses, it comes all the way back to 13, Kim. Kim has it, Oh, But it looked like Timmons' player came out of the box and stumped that. Yeah, That's number sure. 24, Ian LaShawn. Without That's that, they may have had a, may have been able to put another in, but LaShawn did the right thing, and he's in there now mucking it up on the boards. So we'll see what happens here. 
13-18 left in the second period and the puck comes out of the Vaughn King's end and they are chasing. And uh, I will say really quickly, that was a great job by Vaughn to keep their puck in the offensive zone on the power play, but not a great job to get many shots off. And that's a nice individual oh! into the back of the net. He shoots, he scores. Number 13, Mason Kim. That was a beautiful goal. He basically, he basically <laughs> dropped that defenseman's pants and went around him, toe drag, puck and net. Yeah, I feel bad, Ron. I cut you off there. No, Didn't that's let you okay. get the call, but. That's okay. Wow. No. I, Mason Kim, he just. Uh, yeah, he one woke minute, up. One minute he's there, he's right beside his defender. The next minute he turns up yeah. like nobody. Like nobody's business. This, yeah. this kid might be a future OHLer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> here we go. Uh, so here comes Timmons. They've got a digging, some digging to do now. So they got to get back to work here. Timmons is in the corner working hard on that puck now. Jadan has it, but there goes the uh, Vaughn King out with it. Oh, oh, 26 tries to put it back in the neck. That's Kovacevic. Yeah, Kova that, Savage. Yeah, that's because it's, uh, what's that? Uh, the guy told me his nationality. Ish is Serbian. Yeah. Serbian or Slovenian. Kind of cool, yeah. And there we go. Goes back to the other D. And that's going in. 23 oh. shoots, just misses wide. And he, everyone's calling for the puck now. There it is. Oh, what a save. Here we go. There's another save. The Timmins major goalie is standing tall. Maybe that's the pushback that these forwards need to see in order for them to start doing the same thing and the right things. Yeah, you got to pick it up a yeah, little bit. Yeah, uh, let's get the goalie some giving, help here. You're, you're leaving Jared Seifer Fenton out to dry a little bit yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. Uh, defense needs to tighten up, not let those easy pucks in. There's another two more great opportunities for Vaughn to score, make it at least 3 nothing now. So yeah. you got to tighten up. Can't let the easy stuff by you. No, not at all. So here we go. Kirk's back there. Mitchell's there. And uh, Boo Marie. And they're in. Oh, he's oh, got man. a. No, no one's there. He didn't know what to do because it was a weird play, boy. It definitely wasn't a normal hockey play. <laughs> And here we go, puck back to the Vaughn Kings, but it was just missed again. It seems like the hockey gods are out playing yeah. tricks on guys Lots right now. Lots of slipping around. So we'll uh, keep an eye on that. And the puck goes all the way down the ice, but it looked like Atheridge was able to get a stick on it, so it was icing was called off. It comes all the way out of uh, Kings and it goes all the way up to Kirk. Kirk pushes it up to uh, Abu Marie. Abu Marie keeps it in. He's got help there from Kirk now. Kirk is in there trying to get the puck, but it's pushed out to Lachance. Lachance breaks up off the hash marks and it's pushed up to number 15. Oh. And he pushes it in and it looks like it was offside. And that's about it. Or is it a penalty? No, was, that oh wasn't no? a penalty okay, I didn't at all. think so. No. And I think uh, our day's turning around a little bit because just uh, felt the heat turn on. I don't know if you felt that, Roddy, but yeah, feel it directly blowing yeah, I feel on heat. top of us. So. Yeah, it's right on my forehead. That's wonderful. So now I gotta go get. Uh, we gotta go get. What's it called? I'm not sure. Sunscreen. <laughs> so here we go. Goes all the way back. Oh, here comes. Oh, nice save. Big save by a. Chippewa comes straight oh, that was, out of uh, his that net, was, stays square. That was number 34, Nico Amelin. Where? For uh, Vaughn oh, who made sorry. the save. Nico Amelin, yeah, yeah, that's who that was. He made a good save. <laughs> there you go. He did, that's he did. I just wanted to make sure he got the recognition there because that was uh, quite the nice save. Oh, beautiful. Keeping it 2 nothing, And both so goaltenders have been quite good they've today. They've been, yes, they have. They've given their teams enough uh, chance to win mm. this game, mm. each goalie. So... And here we go, face off in the offensive zone of the Timmins Majors. 10.35 left to go, about halfway through this hockey game. It's nice again, picked it up with the trapper, no problem. And here we go to the right and 
Looks like Timmons wins the draw. They're gonna try and keep that puck in the zone of the Vaughn Kings. The Vaughn Kings centerman gets it, pushes it out over to the winger who is Kim. Lee's out there as well. Lee tried to give it to Kim. He also has Ferry with him. And there goes the number 11 for your um, Timmins Majors, Kadic. Kadic. He was trying to do something as well. And then the puck is pushed all the way up to the guys. But Timmins once again takes over and it is iced all the way down from the Majors to the King's End and we will have a face off to the right of the Timmins goalies who is Chippewa and right now we've got Callahan out there uh, for um, Vaughn on the back point and he takes a shot right away oh man I wish you would have waited a little bit yeah, until everybody should've. got set up because like that's just uh, wasted really shot right <laughs> and so, the puck uh, goes out somehow someone so, will have a yeah it went there. trickled all the way out there so we're gonna get a drop of play right out front of us here on the blue line now so martano uh he'll stop he'll pick that puck up and uh and face off one by the vaughn kings yeah yeah and here we go. Timmons playing back and forth hockey behind their net with their D. It's a very dangerous thing to do. Scorsese shoots it all the way across. Holt keeps it in. Holt and Callahan on the point. Holt tries to put it on the net. They're trying to get that puck. It's bouncing. And then there goes T Timmons. Timmons fighting for it hard. Trying to keep that puck from going. Here comes Holt or Callahan. Callahan pushes it to Scorsese. Back to Callahan. Callahan, Scorsese. And it goes to no one. All his Devon players all moved out. And it comes back. And Vaughn, or Timmons, cycles again. Cycles back, looking for someone to go to. They go to the defense, Drombi, that was moving out of the his position, going into the wingers. Now the Kings take the puck from them. And the Kings break the line. Here comes Callahan. Callahan, close Whoa. save. Beautiful save. Defenseman looks to get another shot on. Can't do so. Forward takes another shot. Another save. Beautiful save by uh, Chippewa. Chippewa. Yeah. Chip and, uh, you know, the, the, yeah, like you said, both these goalies, it could have went either way on the goaltender side. Absolutely. I yeah. will say, just watching the Savon team, obviously this being the first team we've uh, yeah. seen this, eve or this afternoon, it, it's going to be tough to knock these guys off, I think, for anyone. They are just a, a well-oiled hockey yeah. machine. Yeah. And, and they're only going to get better as the week goes on. Yeah, right? absolutely. Once they uh, feel them, this is still a yeah. feeling out game, and there's a big hit yeah. by. See, I don't know. Like uh, you that. didn't call anything, and then that's the one you call. Yeah, that's. So now we got Smith racing. Oh, he had that guy back door there. Would have been good. So now we're going to go. We've got eight minutes left in the second period. It's two nothing Vaughn, and the um, Timmins. Majors will be going on a penalty and the penalty will be it's against number 22 head check. head check that's I assume what the call would be there it is against number 22 Braden Westbury and we will talk about that uh, it's you know you're down two I guess you're not that upset a lot of things haven't went really right for you if you're Timmons yeah. but you're right, if you're not calling that all throughout the game and you don't make it a point of emphasis, then I don't think that should be a penalty. I, but I agree. Yeah, well, nice save there by Saifa Fenton in the right place yep. at the right time. Good save, good save. And that's, uh, yeah, that's something that has kind of been a constant when Timmons came to the Sioux this year was the, uh, the constant good goaltending. Saifa Fenton has been good all season. They, uh, that's something the Greyhounds ran into multiple times was a hot goaltender playing yeah. against uh, yeah, Timmons. Yeah, for sure. All right, so let's see puck drop here. We'll see if Timmons or, yeah, uh, Kings win the draw. Get a shot right from the point. Goes right in front of the net, right back behind the net. And it's all the way down into Vaughn's area. But uh, 
no icing on the play, so they're going to break out, and they do so. They break out, comes up the left side, and here we go. Oh, and they, and Timmons pinched on that, and they're going to get a shot off, and they do get a shot. Shot's gone, but here comes Vaughn. They're breaking out quick. Kirk's got the puck. Kirk takes a shot and misses it. Abdul Marie has it. He they cycle it over to Kirk. Kirk tries to put it back to the defenseman. He gets a slashing penalty on the Timmins Majors there. Oh, it's not what you want if you're Timmins. Five on three, and that's an objective penalty there. That's yeah. They're not arguing. That slash the guy's stick out of his hand, definitely a penalty. Yeah. And five on three for a buck eight for the Timmins Majors. Not yeah, there's not much you can do. Like, you, you're not doing the right things right now, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, uh, especially these past few minutes. Yeah. You've really, really dropped off in quality. 100%. 100%. And you got to look for something else here, but yeah. it won't matter. So here we go. Kim puts Lee puts it to Kim. Kim puts it back to Scorsese. Puts it back to Latner. Puts it to Scorsese. Scorsese oh. shoots and scores. Right. I don't know if that went five hole or not. I will check on the replay here. But it was right where he was trying to put it. That's for sure. Wow. What a shot. Number 88, Matthew Scorsese. And yeah, that was quite. So here we go, and yeah, five hole. So that was a beautiful goal. We got Lee, we got Perry out there, and Kim still, along with Scorsese, and I think it's number nine, Lat Lanator, Lanator? Yeah, that's number nine. Yeah, Lanator. Lanator. That's a good line right there. Yeah, it is probably their... Very uh, good line. Probably their first or second line, I'd say. And yeah. There's another opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Got to remember the Timmins... That was a weird bounce yeah, there. Yeah, got to remember the Timmins majors are still killing off a penalty for about a buck 20. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, here we go. And let's go the other way. We got Lee. Lee picks the puck up. Lee's got it. He's got Ferry with him. Ferry drops it to Scorsese. Scorsese, Lat, Lat Lanater over to, oh, Ooh. they're doing good. And it goes back, comes over to Ferry. There's to two options Lanater. in the slot there. Shot, nothing there. Here yep. we go. Oh, there we go. Back to the D. Comes to the number nine again. Lanater over to 17 or three. Kim, Kim doing all he can, but he just couldn't get a hold of that puck. Here comes Timmins the other way. Doesn't get much on that. Comes all the way out. Now they got three on one here. Lee goes back there to Ferry. Ferry goal. shoots. Nothing. The goalie played it smart there. He knew it was coming back yeah. this way. Here we go. Lachance. Lachance. Lachance trying to push it in. Lachance has no one with him really. Number 10's there. Secord. Secord comes around the net. Secord's in there. And there there we go. Lachance again. Lachance trying to push. Pushes it to 10. Secord made beautiful save. Made by their, the goalie, Amelin. And here comes Vaughn Kings again. They're back here now. They're buzzing. They're coming in. Five minutes left in the second period. 3 nothing Vaughn. Vaughn puts it to the defenseman. They cycle it all the way back down. Goes into the corner. Uh, here comes uh, Abdul Marie. And. Oh no, that wasn't. Sorry. And here comes Timmins Majors was trying to break out hard there, but nobody was going with them. So yeah. it really had nothing to do. So there goes the puck. There's Matthew Turbett's second of the game. Four nothing. This game's just getting away from wow. Timmins right now. Yeah. Unreal. That was just one of those goals where you watch it on the replay here and you could tell who every all of your majors yeah. players were all standing still. Yeah, that's not what you want there. No. So anyways, these coaches are seasoned and they'll make changes when they need to. So here we go, Vaughn. I love the kick out, Abu Marie. I love how he plays that wing. Yeah, he's a, he's a yeah. phenomenal Callahan winger. shoots that puck in, goes way over to the net and out of the reach of uh, 
the coat and a shot. Oh, big save by Timmins Majors goalie. Uh, Chippewa. Oh. And here we go. And it's up. And we're going to get another chase for the puck by Timmins and Vaughn. Vaughn is able to get it kicked out and it goes back into the corner and here we go. The Timmins Majors have it. They're going down. They come across the blue line and they get held up there. And it looks like now you could tell that um, that Vaughn is in very good conditioning. Yeah, yeah, you could tell. Very yeah. good conditioning. You know, the, even the way they killed off their yes. uh, five on three penalty last period, they just, they weren't, didn't look like they were tired. Most no, teams are, uh, exactly. are sucking wind after a five on three. Yeah. They were just fine. You no, know, these guys look they're, like they're very well conditioned. I think they, uh, obviously it's a first game, but yeah. <laughs> like these guys are going to be going far in this tournament. Yeah. I think it's pretty safe to say that. Yeah. So 22 pushes it over to Kirk and Kirk. Just missed, stepped away for a minute, and and here we go. And Vaughn takes that puck and goes across the ice, and just can't keep it in. And Kim keeps it in the center area, and here we go. Back out, Ferry tries to do something with it. And there we go. Now Kim gets it. Kim gets ahead of it a bit and keeps his foot away from it. Scores Whoa. with a wraparound. Was that? That was That Gunner was Kim. Kirk. He scored with a wraparound. Well, that was Gunner Kirk. That was number 63, Gunner Kirk, uh, Rod. Oh, was that it? Was, yeah, 63, Gunner Kirk. And Gunner wow. Kirk, pardon me. And we're going to watch the replay here on the TV. Thank you very much to... Thank you very much to Northern Community Center staff for setting up a stream on the TV there so we can watch replays here. And yeah, we're watching the replay. What a wraparound by Gunnar Kirk. Oh my goodness. And once again, thank you to the Northern Community Center staff for setting the, the stream up on the, on the bar TV so it's nice and easy to watch. Everyone can watch replays at the stadium here. And now we're back to the game. 5 nothing. Vaughn, two minutes left. I believe they're at around 21 shots now. And they've just completely taken this game over in the second period, haven't they, Rod? Oh. I thought you were going. Sorry. No, no, no. I was just saying that. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I was just guys. saying that Vaughn has really. I was really giving John, or my partner, a chance to keep going. So. I was just saying that Vaughn yeah. has had a really good second period. They've really taken the game over. Yeah, for sure. So here we go, Vaughn, once again behind their net. And they just cycle back. They know when they know when someone's out of play. Yeah. Because they don't force the play. They cycle it back, set again, and then go. Like, lead. Whoa! Whoa! This is an all-star game. What a shot! The defenseman came across, slid, tried to take Lee's shooting lane out. All he did was toe drag, and as soon as he toe drag, yeah. he did that little Ank kind Lee. of McDavid shot where they shoot it off of their toe already. Yeah. Like it's crazy. It's this Vaughn team. Wow. Yeah. We so I that knew was nice. I knew coming into it that uh, they have a lot of talent down in the GTA, but yeah. wow, this is unbelievable. Yeah. So here we go. Uh, Vaughn once again. Puck deep. They're sending it in. And looks like, here we go, Timmins Majors. Put across, go across. And Lachance has it. He goes in, takes the shot. Oh, even their defensive play is amazing. The yeah. deer always there cleaning up in front of the net. If a rebound happens, it's usually the, the Vaughn player who gets the puck before the other player. We didn't expect it to be 6-0 uh, going into the no, intermission, though. No, 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 never, never. This is uh, very surprising. It's yeah, all really it over is. the last five, six minutes that it's uh, gotten this out of hand exactly. here. So LaChance comes in, and he pushes it over. There's uh, number 15. He tries to put it in, but he couldn't do so. Yeah. And there we go. The puck comes back out. It goes to there, and here we go. Number 18, score! There's the hat trick. That there 
Is that a hat trick? Yeah, that's Matthew Turbett, number 16 or number no. 18. Oh, right with, on. Uh, two period hat trick. Unbelievable game for him so far. And yeah, just walked sure. in. You knew as soon as he uh, got past the last defender, he was going to the back of the net. Yeah. I think everybody in the uh, in the building knew it. And 7 nothing. We're going to just skate out the last four seconds and take a yeah. quick break for the intermission. So and Matthew Turbat scored tur two tub red. And uh, he scored, and uh, all the boys, his nickname's Tubby. So good for him, man. Good to see. And uh, nice to see him get it in a tournament like this. And like John said, you have anything else, John? Or? No, I think oh. I'm uh, ready to get to the coffee break. <laughs> Very good. So we'll see you back here in 12 to 13 minutes.
Kings and the Timmins Majors of this OHF Championship Series with game one right now starting going into the third and Timmins puts the puck back to their D but unable to do anything and it looks like Vaughn sends it straight back in to the Timmins Majors end and Timmins breaks out, sends it all the way up the ice and it goes to number 15, Poen and he uh, plays the body and there we go, Lat Latner's on it as well and Abdul Marie has it, but he was unable to do something and it comes back to Sigurd. Sigurd sends it all the way in and it goes over to the far side of, of uh, whoa, Vaughn's, but Timmins gets that puck back. Sigurd sends it back in deep, 15, grabs it again in the back there, Poen. Poen sends it back out to Sigurd, Sigurd over. Ooh and just misses that tip in and the puck comes out into the red line and now the everybody will be able to get a change and it looks like it's going to go all the way down the ice for the faceoff. yeah not much to say uh going into this third period i believe yeah. that uh scoreboard and shot board seven nothing and 22 to seven both in favor of the vaughn kings kind of say how this one's gone but really it was only in the span of uh the past, the last really six to seven minutes as we look at these goals here in the second period. Yeah, that came 12.59 yeah. from the Vaughn Kings, and then. Look at Kim, Kim comes oh. in. Kim is, when Kim's on that ice, like the bumblebee line, it's, they just go, go, go. Yep. Yep. And I like bumblebees. Oh! oh! And There's another beautiful goal. Scored by number 24 of your Vaughn Kings, Ink Lee. Wow, he's got a rocket on his shot what there. What a rocket. Good for him, and yeah. I like it. The boys modestly just go back to the line and set yeah, up. Yeah, that line. As it's 8 nothing, and you don't need to rub it in and be a poor winner. So that's a nice, like, third or fourth line there, the Ank Lee, uh, Kim, oh. and then Ferry. They, they, work, oh, to, they work together yeah. well, nicely. I don't know if this would be a fourth line. <laughs> or maybe a third line. Well, I'm not, I'm not, that's not taking away anything. That's not uh, well, derogatory whatsoever. No, it's just, no, I'm just, this is just a stacked team, this Vaughn Kings. This could be their first line. <laughs> It's possible, but the there other... There we go. Oh, it's going right back out to the front again. Kim was sitting there waiting for it, but nothing to it. So it comes back. And then uh, Timmins was able to get that puck, but the defenseman came out and played that properly. And now it goes back down into the zone. Here comes Kim. Kim has got it. Oh, he just missed Lee, I think, with the puck there. Holt keeps it in. Holt has it he's holding the line against the lake but it comes out kim has it on the outside here kim puts it up to holt 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 dumps it all the way down kim and lee are getting a change and the vaughn kings are sending their other forwards out number 22 takes a wipe at it swipe at it and puts it back in over the blue line but your timmins majors head the other way and holt is back deep for the vaughn kings to get it out goes up to the winger and that winger was unable to do anything, but here it comes to the Vaughn's defenseman. They are able to put it back out, and it comes all the way out and around again and back into Vaughn's end, where we will get an icing. Yeah, and that's the first goal this period. An Ank Lee for the Vaughn Kings, making it eight to nothing. And right now, it's all Vaughn, like we've been saying. Uh, and there is a goalie switch now. Number 33 is in. Sorry, that was a goalie switch in the beginning of the third period. That's 33 Alex Hall in for the Timmins Majors. Yep. Unfortunate for Saifa Fenton. He had quite the uh, quite the t difficult task. And now that you see on our screen, thank you. To oh, oh nice there's a goal. goal. And now that you see on our screen really quickly, thank you to all of our sponsors, Thompson Hardwood, Sioux Concussion Clinic, the Sioux Thunderbirds, JDM Sports, and True House Media, and the ninth goal of the game. Not sure who put that in the back of the net there. I'm pretty sure it was maybe number 88, Scorsese. Well, there you go. I know it came from the blue line all the way in with a tip, and it bounced it, and goalie had absolutely no chance on it as it was bouncing like a ping pong on a hot, windy day. 
And your Thompson Hardware goal or Thompson Hardwood goal scored by Matthew Scassisi. There we go, and there we go off the mesh again. Pardon us, this black mesh, it, it does uh, allow for some hard viewing yeah. when you're looking through it on, uh, you know, a, a tablet or something like that. The white mesh is so much nicer as it doesn't give you that blur feeling where the black does. So if you are trying to fix your screen and trying to get a bad color, the black mesh is something you just can't fight against. Yeah. It's just there. So, yeah. Not sure why they uh, didn't do white mesh. Oh, or... it's probably cost. Yeah, yeah. most likely. Yeah. Oh, here we go. We got the Vaughn Kings coming in for the puck. Just miss it. Um, it's at the back of the net now again. They're cycling it back and forth. It comes back to the forward, back in Ooh. front, and just missed it. He almost just tipped that right in between the legs of that goalie. It comes all the way back to the Vaughn's goalie or uh, defenseman. And now the uh, defenseman for the majors pick it up, shoot it all the way down, and we get icing again. So we're going to have an icing call in the majors end all the way back to the left of the majors goalie um, and see if uh, Vaughn can keep adding to this uh, uh, scoring total or if they just sit back on the win. But it would be also nice to see if Timmons just pushes back a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. I don't think they're the type of team that just lays down and dies. Um, so hopefully we'll see them push back a little more and uh, get ourselves into a nice 15-minute flow of hockey yeah. here. And face-off in the offensive zone for the Vaughn Kings. If you're Timmons, uh, Rod, what are you telling uh, – if you're the Timmons coach, rather, Rod – what are you telling your boys going into tomorrow after this one? It's definitely not an easy thing to uh, deal with. Well, there's, you know, time and space always, right? Yeah. Always take time and the space away from uh, your other opponents. And that's just not happening right now. They're giving them as much time and space as they need. And if they do that, that's fine. But then they don't have any shots that they can give, right? Yeah. They're not opening up their players for decent shoot shots, decent shooting lanes. They're not pairing up with the right uh, lines. There's so much you can do to change a game, but it's all at what time you do so and when you do so and who is able to change that quickly, right? You uh -huh. have some players that are able to change quickly enough to be okay, we gotta switch our game right up right away or you got other guys that are like, whoa, whoa, we've been working on this for how long? Uh, we're just scrapping it now. So, you know, this is where it, it you, you can see the difference between someone with a very high hockey IQ and someone that is just a very well-practiced hockey player. Absolutely. And Vaughn with the puck. There's number 15, nice. Holt, shot at the point, saved by Alex Hall. Yeah. And they try to kick it out again, but there's Timmons again, and they send it out to center ice again and pushes it back to Holt, and Holt sends it up to Kim, Kim to Lee, League. Tries Ooh. to push it to 1888. Pardon me, Scorsese was unable to do so. And there's uh, there's Timmons. They go in deep. So they're in on the wall holding the puck now. They've got uh, two, four, three forwards in deep. Um, and the Vaughn player comes out with it. That's Holt. Holt and Kim are there. Kim and Holt. Holt goes in and Lee's down there, number 24. Kim's with them. Kim chases the puck. Then uh, it goes back behind the net again. Scorsese's on it. Nothing there. And the puck bounces over Lee's stick. So it has to turn and go straight up. And it goes to Kim. But Kim just gives it a little check. And it goes to the blue line of the Timmins Majors. Now, Timmins Majors make it. Um, and... The Vaughn Kings are able to send it back up. And they're trying to send it over to their other uh, defenseman, but it probably wasn't yeah. the play he should have been looking at at this point in this hockey game. But 
you know. Uh, so here we go, number 34 of the majors. That's Donovan trying to get in on this and not much happening there and <clears throat> excuse me. And that's it. Kovacevic was out there as well. He's playing very good. He's on his wing. And he's coming back to pick up a man now. And now he'll he's right where he should be. And he turns, goes up, pushes the guy out past the blue line. And number nine will now have to pick it up for Vaughn. And it seems as if Lachance is going to put it back to the blue line. See if we can get a chip in there. Nothing of that yeah. happens. So just just now, looking for small victories now that, if you're attending. Exactly. Kovacic shoots and he misses wide. So he's in there working his butt off now. 12 minutes left in this third period. 9 nothing. And here we go. There's a half hockey shot. Half a pass maybe. I don't know. Yeah. And here we go. There's... Uh, Timmons once again working hard on the puck. Pohn was uh, trying to do something, but he was also trying to get off the ice, so he wasn't too sure why the puck was coming to him. And there it goes. The puck goes, hits the mesh, and it's out uh, outside of the arena, and we'll have another stoppage of play here. Good opportunity for... Vaughn just to get some different faces out there. Looks like it's the same. Uh, oh, no, trying some different lines. It's Capel yeah. now with Tarb Tarbet and Ferry. It was yeah. Lee and Kim with Ferry earlier. So they're trying some new yeah, things. Yeah, he's trying it out. Oh, six nice. Eight. Yeah, that would have been close. If, uh, so here we go. Timmons had the other way. And... Didn't take long, and it went out of bounds, and we will have a stoppage right out front of the Vaughn's net, or pardon me, bench, and uh, we'll see what happens here. And, and once again, thank you for all of our sponsors, including the Sioux Thunderbirds, who are the sponsors of this third period, and... Unfortunately, losing four games to two in their series against the Sudbury Cubs last week. So they're done. They are. Hmm. So we get a nice coverage there of the goalie from uh, Timmins. <clears throat> and he'll stop that puck with keys. We've got Capel going in to take the draw for your Kings. And he loses the draw, and the majors take that puck and move out. Westbury has it. He's going in. He's a very nice hockey player to watch, yeah. that's for sure. Westbury's in deep with um, number 44, number four. I think that is Lane. Lane's in yeah, with Yeah, number him. 44, yeah. Colton Lane. Okay. And jump up and get it, but little Lee... He was able to get to the puck before and get it dumped in, and now he's at it again. This guy can move in a shake. That's Ferry there. Yeah, I like watching him. Here he goes. When he gets his hands, he's like a magician sometimes. Like. And the puck comes out front. And then, oh, oh, and there's a head shot, and we're going to get a penalty. Oh, and it's in the back. Oh, no, is it in the back of the net, or...? No, he saved it. He did, eh? Save. We got a slashing penalty coming. That's for sure. 9.56 left. There is a slash coming. We'll be against number 66, Jordan Martineau, who had a great season for the he Timmins did. Majors. He was a standout player. Yeah. Every time they came up to the Sioux. Yep, for sure. Definitely not. You know, given the way they played the first period, not what you want from the uh, Timmins Majors. It's not really like... It's not really like they're that much uh, of a gap in talent. Like, it definitely shouldn't be 9 nothing. No, no. It's been a, been a very different style game, I find. So here we go. Vaughn's breaking out. They've got coming down the wing, breaking towards the net. They're going to try and set here. Oh, he tries to go back the other way, and he gets his bell rung a bit. And here we go. 
it's pretty close to the blue line here. So um, here it comes back, ah, come, came back to the blue line, yeah. but he was just out of uh, out of out of place a bit, but not his fault. So here we go, defenseman. They're gonna wind it up and try and get it set here, and bring in the Vaughn Kings for their last ditch effort at their penalty here. Power play. Well, they could get another one. There's still nine minutes left. And nothing happens again. So a goalie comes back once again. Am Amelin, right? Yep. Yeah. And he just played the puck easily. And number nine's breaking it out. La La Lanater. And he breaks it out. And here we go. Nice Ooh. try. Wow. Nice shot from the point. Just missed there wide. And... The Timmins Major send it down the ice, and there we go, Callahan. Callahan comes back, he picks the puck up. Callahan breaking out, sends it wide over to number 13, Kirk. 63, Kirk. And there it goes, and nothing. They were going to go look back at Kurt, but nice save again yeah, by really that nice goalie. Save. Wow, he played, you know. And both two really good goalies for Timmins, Hall and yeah. Sypha Fenton. Yeah. So here we go, Callahan. Callahan will come over, pushes it up. Kirk, and it's out. Smith, Callahan, once again. Callahan just hit the hit the brakes there, kill a few seconds. And ladies and gentlemen, and remember to uh, stick around. 3:15 p.m. We got the Markham Waxers taking on the Junior 67s. Oh, that'll be a great game. That should be on this Eclipse Monday. Yes. Okay, here we go. And that's going to be the Timmins Majors. They're working hard now. They need one. Let's just get one, just one goal to get yeah. into the game, right? You know, just so you can say you bounce back a bit. Yeah, small so, victories in yeah, a tournament like this. Exactly. You know, you don't want to go with an end. With that big goose egg, eh? Yeah. So here we go. Timmins Majors behind their net. They're breaking out, and it comes up. Number 26, Atheridge. Atheridge throws it. He's got Poon in in the side, and nothing comes of that. So the Vaughn Kings head the other way. They're coming down the wall, pushes it towards the net. Nothing there. And it's hit up off the glass. And now here we go. Lee, Lee for the Vaughn Kings has it. Lee moves it to Kim. Kim moves it over to, oh, <laughs> Mitchell. My Lee has it again. Lee moves, or no, Latiner had it. Tried to push it to Kim, and they're just getting tired now, you can see. But you can also see, it's pretty neat. It's 6.13 left in the period, and he, look how upset Kim is because he couldn't yeah. make that pass. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> true can, competitors, really. Yeah, exactly. Those are the guys who really, it's really nine go nothing, far. Nine yeah. nothing, but he didn't make a proper pass, and he got upset at himself. Yeah, those are the guys who really go far yeah. in hockey and anything in life, it, really. Exactly. You always... Uh, you know, you're always if you're always 100, percent you're Strive. always going to expect that f from yourself, exactly. no matter what you do. And uh, you know, he's he's going to have a long career in hockey. I yeah. think he's going to be a guy who's you know playing major junior, playing in university somewhere. If he stays healthy, keeps having that level of uh, preparation for himself, you know, he's going to go far in hockey. Yeah. Exactly. So here we go. They're going to give her one more chance, Caddick. He gets a shot in, doesn't go too far. Oh, oh. Beltran's there too. He gets, oh, he hits the Kings player, but the Kings player took out <laughs> the other here, Timmins player who was behind the yeah, Kings player. Yeah, probably shouldn't have thrown the body there. No. <laughs> and here we go. Comes all the way out. Bertrand has it. Bert Secord over to uh, Caddick. Caddick's there too. Caddick and Number 67, four, that's uh, er, Eseroff. Eseroff, and who just pinched there? That's uh, Drobny. So, oh, oh, not I a great. Thought he went yeah. back. I thought he was pushing back. That was wow. a great there. Cardinal dumps it in for the uh, Timmins Majors. 
goes all the way behind the net. 4.47 left in the period. And the Vaughn Kings are just trying desperately to get this puck in deep into the uh, Timmins Majors end. And number big number 88, Scorsese. Scorsese was able to do so. I love saying that name. And uh, there we go. Wow, just... Uh, Lanater was able to dump it back in and they're just kind of killing this last four minutes off inside of the uh, <clears throat> major's end. Yeah, just as I was saying earlier, just you have to be quite disappointed with Timmins. You, you, they're the champions of the U18 uh, Great North League. They played great all year. Every time we saw them, they gave... Uh, you know, they gave the Hounds a run for their money. So it's, it's just not the right way to start a, a week-long tournament like this. Where well, you're, you're here in, oh, and here's Gunnar Kirk, Kirk on the breakaway and a weak, weak backhander. But, yeah, like you have the whole, you know, you yeah. have at least four more days of hockey. You have four games guaranteed. Yeah. You're playing Markham. You're playing Waterloo. These teams are not going to be the same. Are they going to be the same level, if not better, than Vaughn? So if you can compete with Vaughn for a, a period and a half, you have to be able to compete with them for the rest of the game. There's a nice hit by number nine. I believe that's Startovic. Startovic, rather. And three minutes left to go in the game. Here we go. In there he is. It was, who's this? Nine, yeah. He's coming. Nine, back. Oh, no. Here we go. Vaughn has the puck again. That's number 12. That's Smith's. That's Abu Maria. Dumps it all the way in. There's Kim down there. Kim Mitchell has it, 29. Kim cycles it to Smith. Smith has it into the front. It's frozen up by the goalie for Hall for uh, the Timmins Majors. And there we go. And it looks like, oh, Tibbins wins the draw and they're headed back this way. Let's see if they can do something here. In the last 2.30 left here, they got a guy far out and nothing comes of it there. And here we go. <clears throat> and on the reverse, here comes Kim. Yeah. And now that we have a quick break in the action I'm just going to remind you that we're doing players of the game all tournament long and now that we have you know two minutes left to go in the game oh sorry we're not doing the Sioux sports tournaments of the game however the commentators Ron and I will take our own players of the game they just won't do the regular Wendy's gift card slash t-shirt that the Sioux sports players of the game receive so for the Timmins majors who would you say is your player of the game, Rod? That's a really hard thing to go on. Um, and and you might think I'm crazy. Yeah. But I might say the goalie. Yeah, I was going to say Saifa Fenton too because about, you know, seven of the goals let in were not his fault. No. There's maybe one shot I he could have maybe I saved felt, the one I in. I felt like no one had his back yeah. at all, all game. And here's a two-on-one. Once again, there it is, two-on-one. And, yeah, so for the Timmins Majors, that was my vote, Saifa Fenton as well. Mm -hmm. And for the Vaughn Kings, pretty obvious who we're going with. We're going with the hat trick man, number 18, Matthew Tubrit. Tubbs yeah. was his nickname, correct? Yes, yes. So your players of the game are Saifa Fenton and Tubrit. Those are our choices our from choices, our rather. own perspective. No yeah. one else's. has nothing to do with the tournament or anything. No. That's just... Two Sioux Sports uh, volunteers doing their thing. I almost wanted to give it to uh, Kim because he played so oh, well. Oh, he did play well. But you can't ignore Hattie. You got to no. give it to the guy who gets the Hattie. But you, uh, did. You, did. you know, if there's a one A player, I'd give it to Mason Kim, and that's a guy we're going to be watching all oh, tournament. Yeah. He I is he is electric. The definition of an electric player. Lots of lots of tournament left. Yeah. So, 53 seconds left in this one. Smith corrals the puck. He's bringing it to his own end. He gives oh. it away. Oh. Big save. 
I think that might have uh, missed the net. I know. I'm oh. just trying to. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see big save. There you go. There's a big save there. Big save there. He's also had a good game as uh, Nico Amellan, the goaltender for Vaughn. Yeah, yeah. Here's Turbot. And he puts it to the front. And oh, just missed the stick on the head. And here we go. Bertrand comes this way. Number 12 is coming in. Knee out. Tries to make a move, nothing there. Kotick sends it back across the line. It's out, Dronby tries to put it back in. He does so, but with three seconds left, this game is over. So with, uh, that's your Vaughn Kings in the first game of this OHF championship in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario at the Northern Community Center is being brought to you by SueSports.com and Sue Sports TV and Radio. We will see you back here in at 3.15. 3.15, yeah, we have about an for hour. The, for the game between Markham Waxers and the Ottawa Junior 67s. I will allow you to watch, we will allow you to watch this here while the PA announcer gives a player of the game and that. And we will see you back around here around 3.15. Oh, yeah.